Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been really looking forward to talking to you today, particularly because I've got a subject which is non-dental and I promised you all that I would do things that are dental and non-dental. So this is regarding a post that I did recently on Instagram and I went off the grid, I'm sure everyone noticed because I'm always on the grid. And I did that for two weeks because I decided to go on a retreat. It's more of a wellness clinic. In fact, it's a place which is run by doctors and medical professionals. And that was the reason why I wanted to go there. Now, before I go on, don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel because that's really important so you guys can continue to get lots of information. When I contracted COVID, I didn't have the typical symptoms that everyone had. So for example, I was suffering from really severe muscle ache, fatigue. I didn't lose my sense of taste or smell. I didn't have any problems with coughing or anything like that, but I literally wanted to sleep about 17 to 18 hours a day when I initially had it. After the two weeks, my energy got a bit better, but my muscle ache was so bad. I felt like I needed a massage every two days. I could barely walk long distances. And I'm somebody that goes to the gym pretty much every day and can walk and walk and walk for hours. I tried to push through because I'm the kind of person that's like mind over matter. You know, you've just got to keep going. It's all in your mind. But literally I'd be at work and at 4 p.m. I'd have to put my head down because I felt so exhausted. I didn't know what to do. And I was suffering from real burnout as well because work was just getting so full and so packed. And I'm so grateful for those of you that are booking one year in advance, but I really didn't know what to do. I started doing a lot of research on fasting and I have to admit I've been always a little bit skeptical of fasting. I'd read a lot of stuff about how some people thought it was strategic starvation and how a lot other people thought it was actually a really good thing to do and there was a lot of science and backing behind it. So I was a bit torn and I didn't know what to do. And there was a lot of medical professionals that were really hesitant about it, including my dad who's a doctor and he was like, it is starvation, don't do it. And I just thought, well, I want to try this because I've been reading a lot about how cells can be regenerated, how it can give you a new boost of energy. And I have to admit, when I tried not eating for even 24 hours, I would just cave and be like, I'm so hungry, I can't do this. And I found that my body would get really ill. So my immune system would go down and I'd suddenly get all these symptoms of flu and then have to eat again. So I thought, surely this is not good for your body. But when I read about this clinic in particular, I understood that you have to be in the right mindset and the right environment to really practice fasting. I booked this clinic and it's called the Bohinga Clinic and they have one in Marbella and one in Germany. So I chose to go to the one in Marbella because I was like, if I'm not eating, I need to at least be hot and not you know, starving in the freezing cold. So I was really looking forward to it. I was at the kind of absolute crux of my burnout just before I'd gone. I decided to go alone and I thought that was really important because I was doing it for not just a physical journey, but also a mental journey journey as well and I thought I didn't want any distractions and I wanted to do this for me. So I had got to Gatwick Airport and I went to Pret and I just bought some fruit and some yogurt and some coffee and I thought okay I'll have my first meal when I get there. I was really starving by the time I landed. It was about 6 p.m. 6 30 p.m. when I got to the hotel. I was given a little meal yesterday but I've been traveling and it wasn't enough so I don't have much energy but I'm just going to show you guys the gardens. The rooms are quite basic, there's nothing amazing, but the nature is incredible, it's pretty, pretty green. So that's cool. When I got there, the lady explained to me that there were two parts to the program. So you could do the fasting program, which entails basically not having any solids and being on a program for a minimum of six days, which is what I chose to do, or you could be on a diet program, which is either a low calorie diet or a normal calorie diet, depending on what you want to do. And because I was there to fast, to kind of help my long COVID and also to help me mentally, I decided to do the fasting. So she said to me, today, you're not going to fast because you landed, so you're going to get a normal meal in the evening. And then tomorrow you're going to have your preparation day, which is 800 calories. And then after that, you're going to start the fasting. So when I had dinner that evening, I was absolutely starving. I got given this like little carrot salad and then some kind of courgette rice and tomato dish. And it was a lot less than I'm normally used to. So I feel like my fast journey actually started then and there but I started to experience the typical symptoms so for example I got a really bad headache I felt really tired and I felt really frustrated and you're thinking oh I just can't do this 
But what's amazing about this place is that they give you all of these educational sources and platforms so that you can learn about your journey. So for example, I was given an iPad with all of these tutorials about what you're going through, what you're expected to feel and what you do about it. For me, what was really different about this place than any other place that's advertised out there is that it was medically run. So in the morning, you have to report to the nurse. My blood pressure was taken, my oxygen was measured, my weight was measured. Preparation day, I was also given some fruit in the morning and then in the afternoon, I was given a little aubergine I think it was with some rice and some tomato sauce and then for dinner I was given fruit and I was in a dining room with people that were eating normal food and again I was really hungry because it was 800 calories and I was like oh my god I'm never going to be able to get through this. On the first day of the fast I was given a pot of tea and a little pot of honey and I remember I was thinking I'm not going to eat all the honey in one go I'm going to save little bits for when I need my energy. So I just got this so you can see it's some honey that's meant to be taken throughout the day and some tea. That is my breakfast. Yep, not a lot, but was trying to stay positive. I'll let you guys know how I feel. Just wanted to tell you all that I had my honey and my tea and I am feeling so much better. I even put personal training for Wednesdays. Also, I've been doing loads of reading up on fasting and the idea is, is to switch on your internal nutrient system. So basically your body starts to use its internal sources rather than external forces. And yeah, I feel a lot better. And I met some really amazing people as well. No, I lie actually. I didn't really talk to anyone on the first day because I was so grumpy and tired. And I was like, I don't want, I don't want any friends here. What's really cool about the place, they have loads of different activities going on in the day. So for example, you've got things like Pilates, yoga, gym classes, they have personal trainers, a beautiful botanical garden where you can do walking meditation and they have sound therapy and things like that. But what I'm trying to say is, is the environment is created for you to relax. You're not running from A to B, you know, I'm not running my clinic and worrying about everything. I'm just literally focusing on myself. So by day three or four, I was starting to feel better and I had this kind of new burst of energy and I was like, I'm not hungry. I have energy to do things. And that's when I decided to start going to the gym. I booked some personal training classes. Hello everyone, it's such a glorious day. Um, I broke my fast yesterday, I think I told you, and now I'm on 800 calories a day and they slowly take it up. It's great, I've had so much energy and I feel like my mind is completely adapted. Um, I would have taken you to the restaurant with me, but I'm not allowed. But today I have my first meal, so I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you. Yep, you can see that. They give you like a compote to open up your tummy and then some almonds. I'm gonna eat it really slowly because I'm worried that I'm gonna feel a bit sick. Hi, 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 I'm back from the pool. My puree made me feel really full, but I just wanted to show you my other meal. Well, not meal, but they've given me an apple, some tea. And that's it. I decided to go to this evening, this sort of open evening, if you like, where the owners come and talk to their guests. And I, one of the most amazing things for me on this trip were meeting people that you wouldn't meet in everyday life. For example, I met a guy that used to be a spy and he was really interesting. I was like, I'm not sure you're allowed to tell me that, but that's cool. I felt that everybody had their story. People that are there are trying to heal a part of themselves. These kinds of people don't judge you. You don't feel any judgment and everybody's kind of there in unity trying to heal a part of themselves. So I started to notice obviously physical changes in my body. You feel your body become tighter. You feel that you've got more energy. You feel kind of more at one with your mind. And because you've got other people that are in the same boat as you, we kind of form this little crew and we're like sitting together. Having said that though, I did have something quite traumatic happen to me, I think on day four or five. I was sitting by the pool, minding my own business. And like everybody, I've got my own insecurities. And there was a woman, I think she was about 75. She was staring at me by the pool. So I looked at her and I smiled and I think I asked her if she enjoyed the show because there was a concert on the night before and I noticed that she'd walked out because I saw her the night before. And she turned to me and said, you should be swimming. And I went, okay. And then she goes, from here to here, as then like pointing to my neck to my torso, she goes, very beautiful. And then she points to her hips and her bum and she goes, but here is horrible. You need to swim, you need to burn it off. And I was horrified. I literally felt like someone like stuck a dagger into my heart because I I have always been insecure about certain parts of myself and I actually locked myself in the bathroom and sobbed for like a good hour and a half calling my mum because obviously you can't you know you can't speak on your phone in other areas I had gone and spoken to the people that I was friends with 
and obviously they were amazing and they got really defensive and I just found it so strange that she felt that she could criticise my body. So I think that was a really, really difficult part for me to handle and I don't think that I quite got over it. I need to make sure that I'm strong enough in myself not to be hurt by those comments. Apart from that, everyone was really, really lovely. And I think when I had told my group of friends there, they were also horrified because they knew that everybody was there for a journey, right? People aren't at this clinic, as it were, because they're 100% happy with who they are. They're here on this healing journey, so who is somebody to criticize another person? The trip was amazing overall, and I, when I went to the doctors, I had told them about how much of my energy had been restored, how much better I felt. But it's been probably one of the best experiences of my entire life. I've met the most amazing people and my body has completely transformed mentally and physically. I wanted to fast longer than six days, but they told me that you have to have at least four days of reintroduction to food. And I think that's really important because I've been on retreats before where they're like, okay, yeah, we'll put you on juice and then you can go home and then you go home and go back to your normal life. But what they do is they reintroduce things slowly. So I think it's a really good way of doing it because like you've given your intestine and the stomach a holiday and then they have t has time to kind of restart again. I I really do feel like it's something life-changing and I really, really recommend it. I really, really do. I went straight to Ibiza after that because it was my best friend's birthday and I don't recommend doing that. But I think that some of the lessons I've learned and the calm that I'm feeling now is something that I want to keep remembering. Whenever I feel stressed because I have gone back into that life that is so hectic, I think, how did I feel in that place and what did I do? So I think it's a really good way to train your body and your mind and they won't let people fast if they feel they're underweight. Like for example, there was a girl that was like 42 kilos. She was just tiny naturally, but she had to be on 2000 calories. So they're not gonna just let you do it for the sake of doing it. And they wanna ensure that you're healthy and controlled. And I think that's the most important thing, getting medical people on board to do that. And that's the right environment to do it. But I really hope that's helped and answer questions because I had so many people saying, I wanna know more, I wanna know more you know what's it like what's it like and one of the big things that people ask as well is like what about the treatments well on in the actual facility apart from the doctors you've got chiropractors physiotherapists psychotherapists psychiatrists and they actually have um, a uh, psychotherapist there that can psychoanalyze your dreams and stuff as well for what they mean so I will be going back again next year and I do feel that it really did help my long COVID because the muscle fatigue has completely disappeared and I think mentally it's given me more clarity and definitely made me think more so I hope that helps and if you do have any more questions about it do let me know and I'll be happy to share it with you but stay tuned until next time